to judge them on stage presence, audience response, that's where you come in, quality of material, committee personality, originality of material. Those judges are looking for that in their performance. And uh, there's eight of them, and they all get a chance to come up here and perform for you. Right now I'm gonna to introduce to you the guy that's the host for the show, and a very funny guy on his own, also a DJ at WZXL. Let's have a warm welcome for Scott Freeman. So welcome, welcome to the Comedy Stop number one full finals for the amateurs. You guys excited? You guys are gonna be nice, right? Up front, especially, right? You're gonna be nice to the comics. These guys are amateurs, right? Right? Okay. We don't want you ripping on them, all right? Especially in that shirt, but you know. So let's get this party started, shall we? Let's bring the first comedian in the finals up right now. This guy's done comedy for about seven months. He actually left his job at a supermarket to pursue a career in comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Ardente. I took a girl to a skating ring once. It was supposed to be a magical date, and it wasn't. I thought, it must be simple just to jump right into the skates, four plastic orange wheels on the bottom, and get right into it. That wasn't the case. I fell on my ass every five seconds. It got so bad that my brain literally started telling me that the Bee Gees were actually singing, Well, you can't tell by the way Joe moves on skates, he's not getting late. I love you so much. I know what I'd do without you, Atlantic City. Where else would I go to get drunk and realize that some place looks so much better from far away than it actually does up close? <laughs> Tell an individual who actually runs a comedy show at the Rail in Richland, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Cooper! This place near me, uh, Tasty of China. Tasty of China is not even grammatically correct. Like, that's written on a check somewhere. Like, Tasty of China. I, and again, who knows? You know, maybe they've got some sort of a plan here. They know what they're doing. You know, I picture a Chinese scientist, you know, in a lab coat. Balancing uh, beakers full of fluids. Uh, bad grammar has a high affinity for a memory. Uh, they may laugh, but they will remember. <laughs> he is from Venner, Chris Lorenzi. I was from Mexico City. Sometimes I have to remind her of things. Honey, you don't have to hop over that fence. There's a gate. <laughs> we have these cute little nicknames for each other. I call her my little border bunny. And she calls me citizenship, trying to get back into the dating scene and go down to the bars, trying to pick up uh, plus-sized women. I keep throwing my back out. Last night I dropped acid for the first time. No. That shit burned a hole right through my kitchen floor. My friend wants me to try hallucinogenic mushrooms. He says, Chris, you're gonna love these. They're gonna see colors that don't even exist. So forget that. I don't want the responsibility of naming a new color. For Noah Houlihan! Dungeons and Dragons is this guy figured out a way to sell kids pretend. That's it, that's, that's the whole game. This guy walked in and was like, what are you kids doing? Using your imagination? Well, you can't do that without this $30 book of rules. And then I bought it. I was like, oh, you mean I can fight dragons and shoot fire out of my fingertips? He was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not at a high enough level to pretend that yet. You're gonna have to put in 30, maybe 40 hours of hardcore pretend before you can think about pretending that. As you can probably tell, high school was very difficult for me. Since I sound like Kermit the Frog if he got hit with a baseball bat. <laughs> My family did not warn me of this beforehand. I had to learn the hard way that I sound like Ray Romano if you were a little more assertive. <laughs> However, I have finally come to terms with the fact that I do indeed sound like Chewbacca if he could speak English. His name is Matt Pat! Uh, I'm not allowed to wear a hat at my bank. I asked the banker why, and she explained that it was because there had been five armed robberies at that bank in the past year. So, no hats. Uh, and that's really horrible when you think about it, but what I, what I want to know is how it went down during that fifth robbery. Like, the robber walks in, you know, doing his thing, and uh, the bank teller has to tell him, oh, I'm sorry, sir, we don't have any money left. 
If you'll be so kind as to allow the gentleman behind you to make his deposit first, I could give you his money, but I'd really prefer you just mug him outside so I don't have to do any paperwork later. Dupree Lee! You ever spend all night looking for some coke? All night. Everywhere you go, everybody only got, everybody only got Pepsi, you know what I'm saying? I'm a coke. I don't want no Pepsi. RC Cola, ain't nobody got no time for that. I'm a coke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Howard! I waited all week for this. To get on stage for eight minutes and disappoint. It's like sex with my girlfriend. <laughs> God, your shirt is ugly. <laughs> Yeah, we're, it's 2013. Platted is gone, okay? Pleated is gone. Anything with a P, you don't buy. Polo Assassin, that's...